everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Mailbox Power Lunch and Learn. I am so privileged today to be joined by my special guest, and I'm going to introduce her in just a minute. Uh, but first, I'd like to give everyone the opportunity to join us. I know that uh, Facebook kind of lags behind uh, YouTube a little bit in allowing people to join us. So we are going to give people just a couple of minutes to hop on here and watch and let us know what you're having for lunch, everybody. Let us know in the comments what you're having for lunch. All right. So uh, let's just give this another minute, let people hop on here. I'm really excited today because uh, I've been working with this person for, gosh, it seems like a while, but I don't think it's been that long. Uh, hello, Sandra. Hello, Natalie. It's good to see you here. Thanks for joining us today for the Mailbox Power Lunch and Learn. All right, guys. I am going to go ahead and introduce our special guest today. It is, I am so honored. I am so honored to be introducing this person. Um, I met her <laughs> quite by accident because she ended up uh, doing some amazing things in Mailbox Power that she didn't even realize she was doing. So when I reached out to her, I asked her what she was doing and she explained to me that she had a background as a teacher and as a school administrator and that she was using Mailbox Power to build her thriving, and I will say thriving doTERRA business. She's a diamond level leader with doTERRA and uh, she was using Mailbox Power to build that business and consequently, as she was building her doTERRA business, she also ended up on our Mailbox Power leaderboard, unbeknownst to her. She wasn't trying. She was just sharing a tool that was really working for her in a really uh, profound and meaningful way. So with that, I would like to introduce and welcome my friend, Tiffany Sosa. Hey, Vanessa. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> I'm so excited about today's Lunch and Learn, Tiffany. I'm excited because uh, we've been working closely together on some projects. You have such an amazing way of conveying information and keeping people really close to the heartbeat of your doTERRA business. And I know that all of the things that you're doing to build that business would apply across the board to anybody in direct sales or network marketing. And that's what I love about this is that you are going to be sharing some concepts today that will help people regardless. I mean, they could be in any business, but specifically in direct sales or network marketing. Yeah, absolutely. It's so true. And, you know, I think so many of us in direct sales, have found that in the last few years, social media has just become inundated with noise. And, um, you know, my Facebook group, which, you know, was a thriving community and it still is, but it, it lacks the participation that it used to simply because the Facebook algorithm is no longer friendly to us and it's not pushing out posts. And so, you know, my customer base, um, they're just not seeing things anymore. And I realized that for the health of my business, I just really needed to find a way to get the information to my customers. Um, and, and for me, Mailbox Power has just been the solution to that. That is so awesome. And obviously, I love this story and I'm super passionate about this story because of my background in direct sales and the fact that I've been in that business for over 20 years. And so I, in the very first place, that's what attracted me to Mailbox Power was the opportunity to really impact because you're right. I mean, there's a lot of noise on social media now and it's really hard to stay um, relevant and to stay in front of people when they are only seeing a fraction of the things that you're putting out there. And I hear people say all the time, well, I posted on Facebook. It, everyone should know I posted on Facebook. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's not necessarily working for people anymore. Uh, I think it's a great, um, a, a great addition to other things. But I think you have found the key here, uh, Tiffany, in integrating your social media strategy 
with a direct mail strategy that is obviously having a, an impact on your business. So I'm excited to share. Let's, uh, let's pop up your, um, I know you have some slides to share with us today. So let's, let's pop this up and take people through the process that you are using right now in your business. Absolutely. So I think that a lot of uh, direct sales people will recognize, you know, some similarities in, in what I do with what they do. You know, um, this is just a very typical series of doors that I invite any new customer to step through. Right. So first I invite them to try a sample. Then I invite them to come and learn. At that point, I invite them to enroll from there, once they become a customer, then I continue to support them with education and to be able to continue to learn and to learn about new products um, and, and to be able to provide, you know, information about promotions, uh, you know, like new, like promos and sales and specials and events and things like that. But then there's also the aspect in my business of duplicating myself in new business builders on my team. And so I've been doing all of this um, and, and, you know, what attracted me initially to mailbox power, when I first started thinking about direct mail, I was thinking of it in terms really of support mm -hmm. uh, and being able to <clears throat> send out cards to my current customers to, to um, build retention and to, you know, just to share with them the information that they would need to know. Right. But as I've started to, um, to really like open my mind to other possibilities, just the ideas started coming about, you know, I could use mailbox power in so much more of this funnel um, mm -hmm. than I initially thought. So anyway, I've just been sending out lots of cards and I put some slides together of images of things that I've been sending. So I'd love to be able to show those to you. Let's take a look, I'm excited. Okay, so I color coded because, I, you know, as teacher, we You're love teacher. color. So we're gonna, so we're gonna start with sample. Um, you know, if I can get somebody to try a sample of one of my oils and they experience, and you know, just they have a great experience with it. Yeah, I'm gonna be so much more able to then invite them to walk through those other doors. So um, we made uh, Vanessa and I worked together, but we we created this postcard where it says, "Hey, are you interested in?" natural health care are you curious about essential oils and plant-based solutions and we're prospecting cold contacts uh with this postcard so what we did is we just um it says you know you've know uh, you know kind of gives them an, a little introduction there's a qr code that they can scan with their phones to watch a short video that introduces them to what oils are and how we can use them and how plant-based uh, solutions are an alternative to pharmaceutical um, and you know synthetic medications. But then if they want to try a sample, there's a second QR code on there, which sends them to my Google form. Uh, and so then they can enter in their contact information and they can tell me what health condition they would like to try a sample for. Mm -hmm. And so this is a cold contact prospecting postcard. And so I use the list builder. And so when I went in to use the list builder, these were some of my selects. And, um, you know, I'm, I, the women tend to be the healers in the homes. So I was looking for women. Um, I chose homeowners because they tend to be more financially stable because I'm thinking in terms of uh, loyalty and retention down the road. Um, and, you know, and then just, you know, for their interests, um, those are some of the things that will attract my tribe to me. Now, I'm also allowing this to be used by members of my team. And so their selects may be slightly different. I have um, one of my qualifiers is building her team entirely in um, the Spanish speaking community. So her select looked a little bit different when it came to um, language isn't one of them, but she was able to select ethnicities, which tend to be Spanish speakers. Mm -hmm. And then her postcard is in Spanish and so on. I love this. Mm -hmm. And I love that you used a picture that, it, so Tiffany had it, it, someone come and take pictures of her and her team talking about oils and having a little social 
socially staged little photo session here, but she's able to use those photos all over the place with the things that she's sending out. So that's just a little tip that you may not have noticed. That is actually Tiffany there <laughs> on the photo and her team and her top leaders. Another great way to showcase your leadership while you're building your business and attracting new customers. So we, fantastic. Yeah, we've gotten a, a lot of mileage out of that photo shoot. And it was such a wonderful morale boost for all of them to get dressed up and come together. We had a great time. And now they have head professional headshots that they're using on their own websites and their own social media. So it was a it was a I'm definitely getting a lot of mileage out of those out of those pictures. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So let's see another example. I love this, the list builder, and I love what you're doing with that. And the fact that you're sending those out, you have targeted demographics because of mm -hmm. our list builder in Mailbox Power, which uh, if people haven't been in there, if you all haven't been in to play around with the list builder, you don't have to buy anything. Just go and see what the results are before you hit the purchase button. Uh, and you can see how targeted those people, those lists can be. Absolutely. And because I'm strategic, <laughs> I've been thinking about where are my, you know, I've got teams in different locations around the United States. So I can, I can send postcards to those areas, but also where do I have family that I want to be able to visit? Yeah. And I could, I could grow a team there so that then I can travel to see my family and see a team at the same time right off the trip as a tax write-off, right? Like we can be wow. think about where we want to build. Yes. Like go to Hawaii every year. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Grow a business in Hawaii and you can go. Yeah, I love, I love it. Yeah, I love how strategic, strategic you are. <laughs> so here are some postcards that I've sent um, inviting people to come and learn. So these are three different examples. Um, we, you can see that there's some series of topical classes and, um, you know, I like to use QR codes because nowadays, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, all you have to do is open up the camera and you can scan the QR code and register for these classes, get the Zoom information. Um, the, other, the other option would be if you use Project Broadcast, it could say text whatever to this mm -hmm. number to register for the, the upcoming classes, right? And then they would get a reminder and so on and so forth. Or maybe it's a QR code to a Calendly link to set up an appointment, right? There's so many options that you can do to invite people to either meet with you one-on-one -on -one or to be a part of, of an event online. Uh, the yellow one up at the top was something that I sent out to um, all of my current customers for them to come and see and experience all the brand new products that came out after convention in September. So I had a big expo. Um, I actually had five different events in different places around the country. I had my traveling big box of stuff and I went and I, I had expos in those five different locations. And we used uh, not just our, um, you know, uh, being able to search who our customers were in those areas, but we could also do a list builder with people in those areas if we wanted to, to invite you know the public in those to be able to come to each specific event. On the back of that yellow card, um, it had a QR code that invited them to register for the time they wanted to arrive in, um, uh, what is that called? That, um, Mm, sign up genius because mm -hmm. of COVID, we wanted everyone to feel comfortable and safe. So we limited the number of people who were there at any given time with the link that invited them to sign up for a specific time. And when we limited it to, I think, 10 people at a time or something, but we went all day. So we had a lot of people. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And and I imagine because you were staggering the attendees, they probably felt like they got more one-on-one -on -one attention with you. They really did. It, mm -hmm. it worked out beautifully. There was a wonderful flow to it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, nowadays people are still iffy about whether they should do in-person events or not. And that for us was the solution and it worked out beautifully. That's this is like my favorite thing right here. 
ever my most favorite thing because when you, when when i get a new customer and they purchase their starter kit or whatever products and you know uh health solutions that they want they need to learn uh and get used to using what they purchased my mm -hmm. absolute nightmare is if they purchase something and it sits on a on a shelf and collects dust because mm -hmm. If you're not used to using these kinds of products, it takes a little bit to to get into the habit. So let me just reach across here and grab this card because I actually have it here in real life. I don't think that the picture does it justice. This is the gigagram for new customers. So I had this one mailed to my husband. Welcome to doTERRA, Robert. <laughs> Love and it. then on the inside, it has everything that a new customer would need all in one place. So I have, you know, the top part here is how they can access their own member account, how they can log in and, and be able to, you know, place other orders or be able to manage their loyalty points, things like that. This explains the loyalty reward program. Uh, here's a video from doTERRA. Over here, I've got a daily wellness routine that's based mm -hmm. on one of the most popular kits. And then, you know, we had done a series of continuing education classes and I recorded them and posted them onto Vimeo, which is a free uh, place where you can put videos. It's similar to YouTube. And so I just made QR codes for the seven most popular topical classes. So if they want to continue to learn about, you know, pain management or uh, toxin free living or boosting emotions, they can do that. Women's health and yeah. hormones, whatever. Um, and so they can continue to learn. And then over here would be uh, access to other uh, information and the reference, you know, oil reference book and things like that. So when you're thinking about whatever network marketing business you're in, what are the like key points that you know that if you could get that information across to them? that they would continue to be loyal customers and they would be able to get the most out of what they purchased, but then also continue to learn about some other things. And for me, this giga bigogram has just, <clears throat> has just been amazing. Yeah. And they love it. They I, absolutely love getting it in the mail. And because it's, because it's so, you know, just in this big form, everything right. is in one place, they don't lose it. They don't misplace it. I was doing this exact same information in emails before and they weren't getting opened. So this is what Tiffany, and this is what I really want people to get this part of it. And that is that you didn't overthink this. I think I shared our uh, pro, the gigagram that goes out to all our pro accounts. And I was showing Tiffany this, she implemented, she's like, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm going to create a, a gigagram for my team, just like that with all my pertinent information. And she had it done. I kid you not within a couple of days, she didn't overthink it. She just thought, what do all of the new people in my business need in order to be successful? And I know that there are other people that have used this type of thing and put conference calls or webinar schedules or whatever on uh, the back of it so that it can be posted right next to their computer. There are lots of things that you can do with these gigagrams to, to get the information out. But again, it's like Tiffany said, beautiful quality, and it's not something that they can ignore because it comes with their name right on it. <laughs> Yes, and the custom envelope, which I didn't put a picture of here, but it's gorgeous. I made a beautiful yeah. custom envelope. And, you know, it's just, um, yeah, I, I think you're right about not overthinking it. Chances are every one of you already have images and pictures and text that you send out either in email or, or snail mail or some other way. And all you have to do is just snip it and drop it on here. Yes. And, uh, you know, because so. getting it out there, getting the information out to people is more important than having perfection. Right. Done. We, just you get it done. Done is better than perfect. So oh, right. Get it done. Get it out there. Of course, look at it and make sure that you don't have typos and things like that. But get it done. And you can always improve on it. That's the beautiful thing about this because you're sending out one at a time. If you decide, oh, I forgot to add something, 
you go and change it and add it so that the next person that receives it gets the new edition, the edited edition. So it's really easy and you shouldn't feel like you're committing it to anything because you're not printing anything in advance. So you can literally edit on the fly. I think with with the 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 postage and everything all said and done, it was $5.34 to send it to a person. With the gigagram, with the custom envelope, with everything. It's yeah. a no brainer because yeah. that customer, every customer so far that has gotten this gigagram from me has gotten enrolled in our loyalty program and has continued to order. I That's a win, 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 right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I Absolutely. Love Great job. Um, um, so let's take a look at another. These are just some other examples that I've used for customer support and retention. So, um, you know, on the anniversary of their enrollment is when their um, their account renews. Mm -hmm. So I created a drip campaign. Actually, this was an idea of one of my friends, and I just um, I just made a little a few a few little changes to the card. But happy doversary because of DoTerra anniversary. Right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, it explains the process of, you know, thank it. Thank, first of all, it thanks them for being a loyal customer and, and, and congratulates them on another year with us. But then it explains how, how the renewal process is going to work so that it's not a surprise. And I just have it sent out a couple of weeks before they're about to, their account is about to renew. Love it. Love it. Hey, Tiffany, talk about your uh, response to the BOGO postcard as opposed to your normal sales okay so a couple of times a year doTERRA will do a surprise buy one get one and usually it's like three days or five days where each day you buy something you get oils for free and so as the years have, and I've been doing this now for six years in doTERRA. BOGOs used to be like the biggest event ever, and they still are. But because of social media algorithms, my customers are not getting the information. Mm -hmm. And so this year, I actually had a little bit of lead time before doTERRA was announcing it to the public. And so I just timed it so that the postcards would arrive when it was like legal for leaders to share that BOGOs were happening. Uh -huh. And, um, and so I sent this postcard to everybody in my organization and I had so many phone calls and text messages thanking me for letting them know. I didn't know what the BOGOs were going to be. I just said, Hey, they're coming, mm -hmm. get into your account, go look and see what they are each day and just gave them a heads up. And I had people telling me that if I hadn't sent that postcard, they wouldn't have known about it. And I even had several tell me, I just went ahead and bought the whole box. Like I bought all of them for the week at once because I got your postcard and they didn't even know what they were buying. They just went and got them all because they, they love the product. And, you know, in a normal month, there's, you know, there, without really doing anything, I kind of tend to, um, I kind of tend to rest at a certain rank. But on my my last BOGO, I actually ranked up tw two levels above where I normally am. And this was just, and I knew that a lot amazing. of it had to do with the postcard. That's amazing. So you had a great sales month, obviously, uh, and had great feedback from sending that postcard and letting people yeah. know that the BOGOs were coming. I love that. I love that you like double ranked. That's amazing. Yes. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's really awesome. It was, it was really good. It was perfect. And, you know, and then, like I mentioned before, in every September, we have a convention and new products are announced. And so they may or may not be aware of the new product. So we mm -hmm. have the new product expo for people who wanted to come in person. We had an online expo. That was another postcard that went out. But then my upline made like the coolest e-magazine for us to be able. And it was just a digital link that we could send out to our customers. So I thought, why not make that a QR code and drop it onto a postcard? Yeah. So 
I didn't have to make the e-magazine, but I definitely utilized it in my new product postcard. And I always try to put first name on the front of my um, on the front of my cards, just because I feel like it grabs their attention. It yeah. gets a better response rate according to the post office. That is for sure. So uh, statistically, much better response rate when they see their name on the front of an envelope or on the front of a postcard. Yeah. So with that, I want to emphasize what you just said, Tiffany, about utilizing something somebody else created. Yeah. All of you probably have access to information that either your upline or the company has created that you are allowed to use. You just make sure that you have permission to use it and you can use it on postcards, on cards, on whatever you are sending out to people, but there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Leverage what other people are already doing. And the company's happy when you do that. And nine times out of, I mean, the company's truly happy when you're utilizing the things that they're actually creating. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going around with my camera taking all these <laughs> pictures. I'm certainly not. I'm not a, a, a designer. So, um, oops, let's see. Sorry about that. Okay. So retention and winning back inactive customers was something that I really wanted to do with my postcards. So um, what we did is we just made this postcard and it just says, where did you go? First name. <laughs> and so we just crafted, I say we, because Vanessa and I kind of talked about it um, and, and I kind of threw it by a couple of my qualifiers and we kind of like crafted this as a group. Um, and so what I did is I sent this postcard out. I was able to get, um, you know, to go into my back office in my doTERRA account and run a report as an Excel spreadsheet that shows everybody who has not ordered in six months or more. Mm -hmm. And so then we dropped them as a, as a list, a mailing list into mailbox power. And then every single one of those people got this postcard. Now I, I just sent that out this week, so I can't report yet on, on any, any results, but I have all the confidence in the world that it's going to go really well. So when they scan this QR code, it goes to a Google form. And I know that there's a lot of different ways that we could talk to inactive customers. Um, I'm just going to experiment with this Google form because rather than trying to guess at why they've gone inactive, I'm just going to ask them, why not? Right? Mm -hmm. Like, how was your doTERRA experience? What seems to be the reason why, uh, you know, or what's the reason why it seems that, you know, you, you don't, you're not ordering or you're not using the products anymore. Um, and then here, how can I serve you? What advice do you have for me? Um, right. and then like the, how can I serve you and what resources do you need? Those were boxes that they could click on a whole bunch of different things because sometimes they get enrolled by someone like me who provides really good customer service and support, but sometimes they get enrolled by someone who's just a family member who loves the oils and shows them how to sign up, but doesn't know how to plug them into the yes. institution. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And to sweeten the deal, um, I'm offering that everybody who fills out my survey is going to be entered into a drawing for Target and Amazon gift cards. So because even awesome. if they don't, even if they decided that they don't want to use doTERRA products, who doesn't want a gift card from Amazon or Target? Right, right. I love that. And I love that that Tiffany wasn't You've got to think about what is going to appeal to the customer and giving them a little incentive to fill out that response form. She's gathering so much valuable data there. So some incredibly valuable data. It's worth her giving an Amazon or a Target gift card. They've already, it's not worth her putting an oil on there because they left for whatever reason. Hopefully they'll come back, but by tempting them with an Amazon or Target gift card, she's, she's saying I'd appreciate you and your time. And it's not about selling my product to you. It's about understanding where you're coming from. Exactly. So like one of the questions was, what oils do you have that you don't know how to use? Yes. Right. Yes. Because I, I want to help them. And now here's the other thing that's important. I don't know if you can see, but I put all of my qualifiers names here. 
I didn't put all of the builder, the business builders on my whole team because that would, that would just look weird. Um, there's a lot, but I did put the main ones. So hopefully everyone will, who gets this card will recognize at least one name and they'll have some recognition. So I may not know who this Tiffany is, but I know who Julie is. Yeah. Or I know who Tanya is. And then it, they'll be reassured to know that, okay, she's, this isn't someone from another doTERRA team that's trying to steal me away. I'm th like, th there's nothing shady going on. And I did have a meeting with my team and explained what was going on and let them know that one of the questions in the survey is who got you started in doTERRA so that that way I can take a screenshot of their answers and send it to whatever active builder is closest to them. Hopefully it's their enroller, but if it's not, it'll just go to the next person up above them who is active. So that way everyone can, can take care of their people. Exactly. And I love this whole approach to the win back because you're gathering information, you're sharing perhaps new leads with the people that really need to hear uh, why, why did my customer leave? <laughs> what did happen? Yeah. And I know this was a fairly large mailer, consider, but you've been in business six years. You're going to get a lot of people who try it once or or they try it and they love it, but they're not using the oil for whatever reason. They don't know what they're supposed to do. So I love this sort of uh, contact with all of those people, perhaps re-engaging them. We have yet to see because I know you just sent this out this past week, but uh, we are it really on the mailbox power side. We're anxious to see the results of this. Um, because we really do believe that she's going to re-engage a, a lot of customers this way. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. So my team was super grateful too. So if you're talking about boosting morale with your team as a leader, when my qualifiers and, and downline saw what I was doing to benefit them, I got so many messages of gratitude. And that's, that's important to me too, that they know that I'm trying to help them. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So this was really <laughs> exciting. So when I found out that with the executive membership, I could get a custom inventory at the Mailbox Power Warehouse, I was like, Vanessa, you have to help me. <laughs> we need to talk, girl. So what again, remember how earlier I was saying that I know that if I can get an oil on a person and they immediately experience, you know, relief from pain or their allergies, their sinuses just suddenly open up, you yeah. know, or their headache goes away. I can then, you know, move on through the next doors, right? Yes. So not only can I use Mailbox Power to help me prospect cold contacts, but if I have a new builder, a new business builder who wants to launch their business, I can use Mailbox Power to help them. Mm -hmm. And so what I, what I, what I'm doing right now is I have reached out to a collection, I think 10 people in my team who said that they wanted to build a doTERRA business, but then for various reasons, never really did. Okay. And I think for the majority of them, it fell into either they were overwhelmed with uh, all of the things that they had to do to be able to send samples and to make phone calls, mm -hmm. or they were just nervous about having to make the phone calls, right? Mm -hmm. That phone just way, it was just heavy, right? And they just mm -hmm. couldn't bring themselves to make those calls, right? We're, we don't, we're not all natural salespeople. So, right. so I thought, what if I could bring those 10 people back to me, they could make their list of a hundred names and then we could send out a, I need your mailbox power link to everyone in their 100 names so that when their friends and family members and whoever get this message that, you know, so-and-so is updating her, her mailbox, her address book, they fill out their information and it triggers the mailbox power system to send a card with a sample. So then all my new builder has to do is pay attention to who's filled out the link and one week later or a week and a half later, because the mail is a little bit slow right now, 
but and we also want to provide them enough time to actually try the sample then yeah. she, all she has to do is call them and follow up on the card and and chit chat and reconnect and then just ask if they had a chance to try it so i didn't want it to be a bait and switch where it's mm -hmm. like hey guys i'm updating my uh, my address book and now I'm going to send you a, a sales pitch. We didn't want it to be like that. So I made a card that just says sending you a little sunshine. And then when they open it up, it says the past 18 months have been rough. Hopefully we will all soon feel the sunshine after the rain. In the meantime, please know I'm just a phone call away. And then I put their signature and their headshot. Now, the signature is really easy and I know that there's a tutorial in the mailbox power Facebook group on how to make a transparent signature and we just drop that image onto the card. And then we also included, um, you know, directions on how to use the sample. So, and then at the bottom PS shoot me a text and let me know you received it. And then the phone number. So Fantastic. we're excited about that. And yeah. they were absolutely thrilled that instead of having to make a bunch of samples and make a bunch of phone calls that are a little bit awkward and out of the blue, yeah. instead they could just send a meaningful, thoughtful card and a gift and then just follow up on that. Yes. Yes. And I love this. And I hope you all get the, the gravity of this. Now, instead of creating samples and going and doing cards and going to the post office and all the things you would normally have a leader do, they're able to just, it, it's an automatic system. It's one of our automations that Tiffany created, and it automatically triggers this card to go out with the sample, allowing those leaders to focus on what they can with communication with their team and, and other things other than the busy work of creating and sending samples. And I love the fact that Tiffany is taking a lot of things that should be done by good leaders and turning those into automation so they actually do happen. You're not relying on whether or not someone has a good or a bad day or they're in the mood to build their business or they're not. This is an automation that is going on behind the scenes, regardless of somebody's mood or intention. <laughs> it is actually going to happen. And the more things that you can automate in your uh, communication with customers and with business builders, the more effective it's going to be. So I really wanted to emphasize that. I also have a question here from Lee that says, does Mailbox Power still have graphic people to help those who are less talented in that area? Lee, we do have graphic people on staff, but I will say this, the design store has loads of loads of images that you can use and modify for your own purposes. There is a lot in there. We have a lot of, if you put in the name of your direct sales company or network marketing company, or, or let's say you're a plumber, put plumber in the search and you will find all kinds of things that, uh, that you can use, that you can either purchase the design or get it for free and then modify it and put it your own information on there. Yeah, this this image here I just got from Canva and I like to just fill the card with an entire image. So I just did a search for sunshine and I saw that picture. So I dropped it onto the card and then I used mailbox power to add the text on top. So, you know. Yes. Yeah. So and and Tiffany has an, a, a Canva account that allows that. I just want to make sure that everyone's using uh, imagery that you're allowed to use, uh, either um, that you already have permission to use or you've already purchased. So, all right, awesome. This is so cool. I love the recognition. Yes. So these are actually already in the mailbox power. Um, uh -huh. design store, but it's easy enough to just make rank advancements, you know, cards. And then when you've got somebody rank advance, you just shoot them out a card. It's beautiful. Um, when we had convention in September, I had a list. I asked my account manager at doTERRA for a list of everyone on my team who was going to be attending convention. And normally what I would be doing is I would be buying them all a gift and lugging it in my suitcase, taking up valuable suitcase space and giving it to them there. And that's always hit or miss. 
trying to get everyone there because they don't always come to the team party. Some, some arrive late, some leave early and so on. So this year with Mailbox Power, I took advantage of the gift. Um, and the one that I chose was the phone charging battery power uh, bank thing. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I was thinking, you know, what, what do people need most? What's the most yes. you know, frustrating thing? And for me, it's always been my phone dies at convention because I'm recording, I'm taking pictures. Yes. And, and it's like a disaster when your phone dies. So I thought, I'll just send them all a battery power thing. And so I took the, the, this was the logo for our convention here. And I dropped it onto a pretty background that I found from, from Canva. And then I used mailbox power to add the text mm -hmm. and I put it on the greeting card. And then I put it also on the phone charger. And then on the inside of the card, it was a message that I'm, you know, I can't wait to see them. I'm so excited that they're coming. We're going to have a great time. And on the inside top, when you open the card, I actually went ahead and put the convention agenda so that that, because that's the thing that you always want. Once you're there, it's like, where am I supposed to be? Yes. Am I supposed to be? Yes. What am I doing? What's the first thing I do? Let yeah. me just add this. If that, uh, let me just change this. If that phone charger is not, if the phone charger is not in your budget, another great thing that probably is in your budget is this personalized phone stand. It holds your phone. As you can see, I use mine every day, but you can laser engrave people's name on it. And this is also a very, very uh, handy and uh, economical way to give people something that will be useful because you at when you go to conventions and things, you do put your phone there and you're recording things and you can do that with this or slide it down the back of the plane seat or whatever to it, it's very, it's cool because you can do different things with it. It bends different ways. So uh, it doesn't That's just cool. hold a phone. It holds uh, an iPad as well. So. And it's, it's so special and unique because it's personalized with their name. Yes. And that's what I loved about this. And um, so anyway, it was awesome to be able to send it so that it arrived a week before convention. I didn't have to, sh you know, schlep it with me yes. up, you know, through the airport. And they, it just added to the antici anticipation and excitement of going to convention to get this beautiful box you know, filled with all that paper confetti or whatever that yeah. is. I mean, they were so thrilled. And then to see them using it at convention, it wasn't just a gift that, that got put aside because it, right. you know, it was something they were Love using. It. So, and I did, and you know, this was just an image that I got from the website of the agenda, but then I used the mailbox power to be able to, um, type in the information for our team party onto the, onto awesome. the agenda. Awesome. I love this. And I see you have the birthday box on there as yes. well. Yes. So what I did is I sent out an I need your mailbox power that's linked to the birthday box, the the festive flowers or whatever. It's yes. Called, for my qualifiers. So I do have um, I, I, I'm going to be setting up a, a birthday thing for all the, um, you know, the leaders and the customers on my team, but I wanted something really special for my qualifiers. So this is what they're going to be getting this year. They're going to be just a bit excited. There's a gigagram. There are amazing singing candle in there. I love the singing candle. There's also a mug, a personalized mug, personal for personalized brownies and crazy, crazy streamers. <laughs> that are just so much fun and make any day a celebration. I hope none of them are watching this right now because Ooh. spoil the surprise. I didn't think about it till just now. I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> It'll still be fun. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right. <laughs> okay. So then also when we think about duplicating, uh, you know, because Mailbox Power has been so God, so just solved so many problems for me. I just know that there are a lot of people that I know who have mm -hmm. businesses and especially people in, in my doTERRA community who have doTERRA businesses that they can use mailbox power with. And so I've been bringing in quite a few affiliates. And so I wanted to automate that as well. So whenever I get a new mailbox power affiliate, 
sign on with my link, I just shoot them a, I need your mailbox power. Yes. And then they fill it out and I can send them this card and I have some matching brownies and it just says, welcome to mailbox power. Um, this yeah. will help you build relationships, strengthen retention and grow your business. So when they first open it up, you know, it says, hi, first name, I'm excited, you know, for you to use mailbox power, look forward to collaborating with you. Mm -hmm. And I give them my information so that they can reach me because I want to be able to support them as they learn the system. Mm -hmm. But I also have on the inside top, this quick start, because I found that I was sending the same things over and over again, just like I do with doTERRA. There's like a funnel in bringing affiliates into mailbox power. So I thought, let's just automate it. So I have this little quick start video um, that my friend Jessica made on how to import their detailed genealogy from their back office in their doTERRA, all of their downline into yes. mailbox power so they can get started. And then, um, and then I also am sharing, so I love that we can share our favorites folder now. So I just made my favorites, my mailbox power favorites folder into a QR code so that as soon as they join mailbox power, they have access to my favorite templates. I love this. I know we've kept people way after today. Uh, this information has been so incredibly valuable, though. I think that it's worth it. I'm sorry if we've gone over and you had to leave, but uh, hopefully you'll catch us on the replay. Uh, one of the things that I want to emphasize is that Mailbox Power is not a network marketing company. We do have an affiliate model where you get paid on the subscription of other people. And Tiffany, because she's having such wild success on her own team with using Mailbox Power, that is why initially people started to ask, like, what are you using? What are you doing? And that's how this has come about. So we're encouraging Tiffany and everybody else to use Mailbox Power to build your direct sales or network marketing business. We don't want to take anything away from that, but we truly believe that the tools that we have here at Mailbox Power can only enhance what you're doing in your direct sales business. And that is exactly what Tiffany's done. And she was so successful in doing it that she ended up on our leaderboard <laughs> So, as one of our top as uh, sponsors on our leaderboard. Um, but this is a great way to use the commission that you do get that that um, the, the commission that we give you as an affiliate, which is 40 percent of the subscription of whatever subscription amount that your uh, affiliate or your customer signs up for. 40% of that goes to you. And it's a great way. And what Tiffany's doing is using the funds for that to fund her marketing plan for communicating with her downline and recognition and reaching out to customers and her win back campaign and things like that. So it's a self-fulfilling marketing program that she's got going here. And uh, I just thank you so much, Tiffany, for sharing all of your knowledge with all of us today and uh, for being such an exceptional leader. You're really absolutely killing it in this space. And I just really appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you. And thank you for all your help. You such a unique uh, platform to be able to reach customers. And I'm I'm just grateful that somebody shared it with me. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Tiffany. And we will see you all next week.